Moving on, the 2611 mastermind half is said banned outfits were engaged in flood relief work in Pakistan. And one such radical wing of half is said Fala e Insaniyat is engaged in relief work at Chaprar locality of Sialkot, which is just about a kilometer and a half from the Indian border. Headlines today has obtained exclusive images of the relief camps along the Indian border. Interestingly, the outfit headed by the 2611 mastermind is seen working with the personnel of the Pakistan Army. Fala e Insaniyat is a banned outfit in Pakistan and considered to be a front for the Lashkar e Toiba. The operation comes days after Hafez Said was caught on camera openly roaming across the Indian border in Rajasthan and exhorting local residents to join anti-India terror activities. While Pakistan flood victims deserve relief, security experts say Said's presence just across the border indicate to a larger conspiracy by Lashkar and its backers in Pakistan army. Joining me now uh, is my colleague Hamza Amir uh, from Pakistan. Also joining us right now is Gaurav Savant, editor of Strategic Affairs. Let me first go across to Hamza. Hamza, does the Pakistani establishment not see this? It is a banned organization even in Pakistan and we can see military personnel, Pakistan army personnel standing alongside Hafiz Said's front organization. Can't they see this? Well, uh, see, in Pakistan, the dilemma is that uh, no matter how blind or high, how openly cited the military establishment in Pakistan might be, uh, government establishment has actually got to uh, endorse whatever they do. Like on one side, the government actually has put the Farai Insaniyat Foundation, Jamaat Dawa, Hafiz Saeed, and Lashkar Taiba in, in the list of banned outfits every year. Uh, and yet they are seen working in tandem with the Pakistan Army Armed Forces. So that means that, you know, it is, uh, while it is something different story on books, it is entirely different on ground. And that Absolutely. is why you see them right, uh, right about two kilometers away from the Indian border. Um, yeah. and, you know, working and going into houses and talking to people, giving them relief and working in completely in tandem. Uh, uh, with with the Pakistan Armed Forces. Hamza, stay on with me. Let me go across uh, to Gaurav on this. Gaurav, uh, this is a double standard by the Pakistani establishment. On one hand, they say they have banned this organization. Still, we see the Pakistani army working with Hafiz Saeed. It's a ripe ground for, uh, you know, uh, for uh, Hafiz Saeed to somehow get more people and, of course, launch a big anti-India attack. Well, there is a pattern to this. Hafiz Mohammed Saeed is well known a two-faced snake operating in Pakistan along with the Pakistan army, in tandem with the Pakistan army. He's a designated global terrorist and yet, you know, there are pictures of Hafiz Saeed having iftar at the general headquarters mosque with the chief of the Pakistan army staff. So hmm. they break bread together. They are, they are brothers in arms and they operate in tandem against India. That is open information as General K.H. Singh, the 16 core commander was pointing out. That's point one. Point two, as you very rightly pointed out, Hafiz Mohammed Said uses, uses uh, these natural calamities, whether it's floods or earthquake in the past, as fertile hunting ground to recruit new cadre to attack India. Whether this is done north of Pir Panjal, south of Pir Panjal, or along the international border in Rajasthan or Punjab, yeah. we've seen instances, if you remember very recently, there's been an encounter in Kupwara where four terrorists were killed yeah. and they made it, they took advantage of this recent floods to try and sneak across. But as the, the 16 core commander was pointing Gaurav, out, both very north quickly, and south of Gaurav, very quickly, they've, got, they've got their security in place yeah. to counter this threat. Very quickly, Gaurav, uh, you know, uh, Hafiz Said, in fact, has been in, started blaming India for these floods too. Now we are seeing uh, an, sort of, you know, they are trying to infiltrate uh, through that border. How should the Indian government respond to it? Because very recently, the Home Minister had sent some, you know, signals of uh, the government softening their stand, saying that talks can still go on. We have to talk to our neighbors with Hafiz Said just a kilometer and a half from the border trying to recruit people to attack India. I'm sure the government will have to take a much stronger stance. Well, uh, from what Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said, terror and talks cannot continue simultaneously. Uh, even as a candidate for prime ministerial elections, uh, he said, Goli bari ke beech baat ki awaz nahi sunai deti. After he took over as prime minister, because Pakistan talked to Hurriyat, India called off talks with Pakistan. So India's stance 
pretty hard as far as Pakistan talking to separatists hmm. are concerned, yeah. as far as these terrorists are concerned, uh, there is clearly, uh, there cannot be a dilution of stand and if you recall, uh, there was there were some feelers from Pakistan that will the two Prime Ministers meet on the sidelines of UNGA in New York yeah. uh, when, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi travels to New York. Uh, from what my sources tell me, it appears extremely unlikely unless Pakistan takes demonstrative action against terror, against very, very important people, information uh, being given there by uh, editor Sorry Jigafair has got a Savan that uh, it's unlikely that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be meeting uh, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, on the sidelines of uh, the UNGA summit uh, in New York. Uh, with that, uh, I thank both the gentlemen, uh, Gaurav Savant and Hamza Amir, for joining me on this story.